Hey Minions, Killer6 back with another How Do I Get That Gear video and today we're going to cover one of the shotguns that I showed you in yesterday's video when I was showing you the top 5 shotguns in Borderlands 2 without the B-Shield and uh, so today we're going to go farm for the Blockhead and the Blockhead was one of the first guns that uh, I got that I really felt like I was an overpowered beast and uh, the first time I found it, uh, me and my buddy Alan uh, Dark Scarecrow, if you uh, see him in my videos, uh, we were, you know, working our way through normal mode. This was back when the game first came out. We we're working our way through normal mode, and you know, we came to Caustic Caverns, and we ended up going to the Minecraft area, and we got that as a drop. And you know, back then, when I was first playing this game, when I first started out, I knew nothing about, you know, uh, specific drop rates and things like that. So when we found this gun. Um, the the first time we started using it, we were just we were absolutely blown away by by the power of this thing, and we ultimately used it. I think we found it at like uh, level 27, 28, something like that, and we ended up using it to beat the warrior. You know, we we both ended up getting a a blockhead, and uh, we we killed the warrior using blockhead. So, uh, yeah. And ultimately, the uh, the warrior dropped the conference call for us. So then we switched to that, and that was back when the conference call worked with the B shield. So the conference call was insanely overpowered back then. Uh, some of you guys might remember that. Some of you guys may have come on a little bit late to the uh, the Borderlands 2 scene and, and don't know what the conference call used to be capable of. But uh, yeah, the blockhead. It, it's one of those shotguns that's good whether you use the B shield or whether you don't use the B shield, and that that's kind of what I was going for in my top five uh, shotguns video the other day. And there's a link to that in the uh, the annotations on the screen as well. And um, yeah, so basically all you have to do is you uh, come across the map here at Caustic Caverns, you come into this little Minecraft area, and you're gonna get a bunch of creepers. Now there's a couple ways to deal with these guys. You can just let them blow themselves up if you want. Uh, they will still drop the same loot whether you let them blow themselves up or if you kill them. Uh, if what you can do is if you just go close to them, you'll hear them start hissing pretty loud like this. And when they do that, they just blow themselves up, and then you can just pick up uh, whatever heads and skins they drop. Uh, now, once you get past all of them, a uh, badass creeper will pop up. He's coming up here in just a moment. Um, and there, I just make that last one blow up. And with the uh, the badass creeper, he is the one that's capable of dropping the uh, the longbow or the blockade. Uh, or blockade the blockhead and as you can see here we get the blockhead to drop and uh, it's a good one too it's the, uh, the royal blockhead so uh, yeah here's what this gun does uh, in case any of you guys have never used it the bullets ricochet uh, so they they bounce off until they hit a fleshy target or I think they have like a set range where they they finally disperse but as you can see if you bounce it off of different pieces of uh, architecture they will spread out in different patterns so it's a pretty neat little effect and uh, has some pretty some pretty interesting possibilities. And this gun's really great against large bosses like Terramorphos and uh, and things like that. So if you guys found this video helpful, please take a moment to click that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and check out one of the other videos that I will have linked on here. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Break.